Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2338, where we have 20 moves to collect 4 popcorn, 8 licorice, 16 frosting, and reach 150,000 points. Now I tend to ignore the frosting because they're next to these conveyor belts, and the matchups that occur by the conveyor belts tend to take care of those without me intervening. I do check in every so often. What I want to focus on are these popcorn, and specifically these three popcorn. This one I want to open up towards the end where I can really collect those licorice but they stream down so I don't want everything cluttering up this the center before I'm ready for that to happen not that I would ignore the opportunity to open this just that I wouldn't pursue it as strongly as I'm going to pursue some of the others now I do see an opportunity to make a wrapped candy and if it were to stay here that would be a pretty good thing it's going to drop down this way though I'm not thrilled with that but I don't know that I have any better moves. So let's go ahead and do that. And maybe we'll be able to match it up with a stripe or something that can help us take out this and this. So we're just looking for opportunities. And if none come up, we may just try to make as much chaos on the board as we possibly can. Looking for maybe something to set up with those blue. Look at that. So close to being able to be a color bomb see if we can pull blue in. Mm, not working. I may still try to pursue it. When the conveyor belt turns, I get new opportunities. There we go. So now we've got that. Now, of course, we want to try to match it up with a special. Huh. The problem is that special combo isn't the best, but look what I can do. I can strike this guy. Um, I'm better off actually taking out a color completely and then trying to match up uh, the remaining one with it, like a striped or a wrapped. As a matter of fact, how can I get these two to match up? If I do this, it goes one, two, three down, but then the conveyor belt takes it back up. If I take out all purple from the board, this sinks to the bottom and this gets close. That's what I'm going to do. I could do this also and take this out, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to take out all purple from the board. Oh, that's going to blow up and it's going to take that out. See, I just don't read conveyor belts well. If any of you have seen my videos, you know that about me. All right. Well, at least it's not a total loss because now I can do some other cool things. I can't really set up a color bomb over here, but I can do this, which is going to help to take out some popcorn and set me up for more popcorn ooh including the sides as well now notice I'm striking this guy also so he's going to end up opening up soon too but if, as long as I got the other uh, popcorn open then I don't even really care and all of them are just about ready this one needs a little extra help um, notice that I have all of the <laughs> frosting gone so, ooh, this is nice. Now, I said this isn't the best matchup, but it is if, um, oh, although, let's just take out all blue from the board, because that's going to happen. And then I might be able to open this up with red right here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, that one's not ready yet. Let's take out some of these so we can reach things. Okay, we've got that. And now I've got this. There we go. So that's how I beat this level. Uh, this was my eighth playthrough for recording purposes, so it's not an immediate thing. It's better for you if you can read what the board is going to look like after the conveyor belts go. Uh, it's also easier if you bring in boosters or use some lolly hammers or switch hands during the process to help you coordinate the things you need to get done. Um, but patience on this board and really evaluating the situations, uh, you can get it done. It's just a little bit tough. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.